Hello and welcome to the stream. Um, hope everybody's okay today. Uh, sorry I haven't been around for the last couple of weeks, been very busy with uh, general stuff. So yeah, um, today I'm not actually working on a cenotaph or anything. Um, I'm taking a little break. Um, but I do plan, there's a personal project that I want to do. Um, recently been playing Watch Dogs 2 um, on uh, PC again. I've already completed it on Xbox. Uh, I bought it cheap in the sale, at the Epic sale the other day. Um, and I'm playing again. I've been looking at some of the architecture in San Fran. I just really want to build one of the buildings. So I was thinking of doing the one of the painted ladies um, from, from San Francisco. So let me just um, make myself a little bit smaller. There we go. Um, so yeah, so I want to build this one. Um, so yeah, I found it. Google Maps is a really good uh, source of reference. Um, so the plan is to build this from the scratch, um, from the ground up, um, and then have some of the sidewalk as well, and just, like kind of go from there. So yeah, so uh, that's the plan. Um, We'll see how far I get with it. Uh, probably, probably get kind of get it blocked out today. Um, maybe start modeling some detail, especially kind of like get this all blocked out, uh, so we get kind of by basic shape, and I can see scale and that sort of stuff. Um, and then we'll go from there, and I'll start to model the detailing. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get started on this one. So let me uh, grab this in. Um, as request, some people asked for some music. Um, hopefully, it's probably a bit too loud. Probably something like that. We'll find a playlist of some sort. Let me grab the mixer. Hopefully that's all right, cool. So like, I've got the reference what I wanted. Uh, I've also got some more references like on Wikipedia and I've been kind of like trying to f find Google, like Pinterest. Like I've actually been here myself. I walked up to Alamo Square where the, where this is a couple of years ago. We went on a, a family holiday, um, and uh, yeah, it was um, a long walk up the hill, but it was it was well worth it. Um, but yeah, so I've I've actually been here. I didn't take many photos though, which kind of regret because I was like, yeah, I do like the architecture. Someone selling a video. So we're just gonna um So yes, yeah, so I'm just going to try and find some more references, make sure I get enough for that. It's a really weird one, that one is. Right, so let's start off, uh, let's start off with a step. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. So there's eleven steps, so we can start to block that out. Now, on here I've got uh, the um, Unreal Bot uh, from um, Unreal Engine and basically he's gonna let me, um, so I've measured him out and he's six foot tall so 
gives me a, like an average height to work with an average width. So when I do bring it inside of, um, uh, what's it called? When I bring it inside of Unreal, it should be all right. Um, so that's roughly, I'm gonna try and keep it on the grid as much as possible. Um, just so that I can keep it, keep it on the grid and then I can work from there basically. I don't know why I've got the UV editor out. Let's let's just go full modeling. So three, three. Now looking at it from above, I'd say it needs to be about there. They're quite steep steps actually, you know. That's gonna be not right. So let me redo that a bit. Yeah, they are, they're actually quite steep. So if we just quickly have a look at these. They're, look, they're quite fat there. Maybe not that, probably about there. And I said about 11. You probably want to bring them about there. I mean, this is a rough block out as well, so it doesn't necessarily need to be that accurate. But obviously, you want to get the silhouettes correct, um, especially when you when you're blocking things out. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm just gonna group these, call them stairs, and I can actually combine them. And then let's uh, let's create the guardrail. <laughs> yeah. It's fine, Kyle. <laughs> Gotta worry more about my back than anything. Years of sitting on a computer desk, a uh, computer chair, and behind a computer has killed my back. Once I've got this sorted, how I want it, blocked out wise, I'm gonna actually get it into engine straight away so that I can actually see if it lines up and stuff. I'm gonna touch wood, uh, touch wood on the uh, on the uh, RSI. I haven't actually got got it, although things are uh, going bad. Like the other day, I was trying to model without my glasses on, and I could not see half the buttons. They were like. Just like, what is going on? Old age, isn't it, Kyle? Um, I'm building one of the painted ladies from San Francisco. I've been recently playing Watch Dogs 2 
um, again on PC and um, yeah it's just I really want to want to do it <laughs> I was just like oh some of this stuff in here is really cool and I thought okay let's let's do something and yeah I thought one of these painted ladies because it's got some nice intricate pattern work here and it's got a lot of hard surface um, so I can really kind of show a lot of stuff off Yeah, there's lots of reference as well because you've got this lovely Google Maps. <laughs> uh, and I was there a couple of years ago. Um, but I didn't really take many reference shots of this place. I'd just been to... Uh, yeah, it should look look very cool. Um, yeah, I went I went here a couple of years ago. Um, I was saying on a family holiday, and um, Roper told me about this um, breakfast place called Oh, I forgot what it's called now. It's in Tenderloin, and we'd just been to have breakfast and I had that beignets, and we then walked up to the top of this hill, um, actually from that street there. Uh, walked from the uh, town hall which is about uh, I'm showing you on this town hall which is about there we walked all the way up here to Alamo Square so by the time I got up here I was knackered and then we continued down to um, Golden Gate Park which is the other side of the square Uh, Kerry, uh, no, she hasn't. Um, uh, yeah, I'll uh, let you know off stream about that. Um, she's decided to go a different different way. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll let you know off stream. Thank you for the subscription. Someone just subscribed. Soul Silver XD. Thank you for the subscription. I actually caught that. I very rarely catch that on stream. So, yeah. Okay. The only big thing issue I've got at the moment is the bloody trees in the way for me to see the um, bit that I want up here. But it looks like it's kind of like this wall continues a bit and then you have these pillars here Like I said, I'm roughing this up at the moment. So it's going to be very rough. If I don't talk for a while, it's because I'm concentrating. You can probably see it on my face that I'm concentrating.
Let's see if we can uh It's actually quite smaller. Set in my old ways, Kyle. These trees, can someone just cut them down for me? Yeah, yeah, it should be around later. Oh no, um, I won't be um, because it's day night with my partner and um, we're going out for some food because I'm going up to Stoke to visit my parents for a week. So yeah, but I w I'll be on this sometime this week, Kyle, um, if you want to play some games.
just joined the stream, welcome. Uh, today I'm building this, or I'm blocking it out and then gonna build it and then gonna put it in Unreal. Uh, don't think I'll get it all done today. Um, but yeah, so that's the that's the plan at the moment. Do the garage door. Not want the cylinder. So on the right hand side, there's a little bit of a, um, I'd say there's a like a, a gate. I'll just make it slightly bigger. say there's a little bit more building so like you've got the wood paddling on uh, paneling on the right hand side of it um, so I'd say there's about this much wood paddling and then it goes into a gate I'm just gonna combine this. Just gonna create the garage door a bit.
I'm just going to put BK because that's just showing that it's a block out for my own reference. Um, and then oh, I did actually just want to bring these out slightly. Let's, uh, actually, let's make this slightly thinner. Okay, next thing to do is the porch, which I can't see, which is great. So let's try and find. I think I've picked the hardest one to do because of this tree. Are these you can see the porch quite nicely. This one, perfect. The one that Matt chooses, covered by trees. So I've luckily found this. Just got an all right. Oh wow. That's lucky. Maybe it is worth me doing that one, just generally because this is actually the um, uh, this has actually got the interior as well, and on Google Maps I can actually see it a little bit better. It's got the same principle as the other one. It's just this is a bit more bigger here. No, I think it's uh, roughly roughly the same. Okay, so yeah. So 
So it sold for 3 point... 3.5 million. When was this? Ooh. 2020. Oh, wow. Hmm. Anyway, yeah. Fair enough. So we're doing this one instead now. Because that one... Um, I'm trying to get reference and there's just a tree in the way. So, yeah. These two trees perfectly groomed to, like, cut off half my reference. So, yeah. But it's pretty much the same, to be fair. Um, on here, so, yeah. Uh, let's do the... So there's front pillars and back pillars. The back pillars All I'm doing at the moment is just blocking it out, getting the shape, uh, and kind of getting that that rough that rough shape. Like there is, there is a centerpiece here. There's a piece here. It generally looks like this is at the front of it, like here. And you've got What I did there was I kind of slightly made it a little bit bigger um, and what I did was I grouped everything together um, so that then I could just manipulate the group not the individual assets which just makes things a little bit easier especially when you're when you're making things a little bit bigger.
Sorry. A little bit noisy outside again. Tried to record a tutorial yesterday, and uh, God, the amount of noise I had to clean up from it was uh, it's quite unbelievable, especially on a Sunday morning. So it looks like, let me just, um, looks like the doors are quite big uh, on this one, uh, on all of them actually to be fair, they look quite big, so he's six foot, I say he, it's a, it's a mannequin, so it's probably about there, that's probably what you want. For the door and then there is a section above it as well which is kind of like a, a windows we grab the faces which extrude to be fair on this bit there is actually going to be a window here anyway um, which actually looks like this, this is smaller, it looks about there. And the thing is, it's best to get it planned and blocked out first before you start to make any real modeling edits and changes. Um, because, yeah. Um, the reason for that is because like once you start adding detail and it's going to be a lot harder to kind of go back and edit So it's better to get the shape and the size and all that done now uh, Before that So we got that so let's do the window We can sort this out in a minute in terms of depth and that sort of stuff. Let's just have a quick look to see. Uh, maybe. No, so it is. It's just that. I'm using the marking menus when I'm doing that sort of stuff. So I'm like pressing shift, right mouse button, and then that's giving me those options. So 
Well, roughly around about there. Maybe add a slight extrusion there um, because you're going to have the frame there anyway, so. And that's actually roughly how it is. Like this, it's gonna. Be, I'm gonna build it in separate pieces because of just how it's constructed. But like, yeah, the size of it of these windows is ridiculous because they go all the way up to the top here. And if I just quickly create the glass work from the top bit here, so I'm not far off. Yeah, those windows are massive. And all I'm doing here, I'm just getting the, the initial block out done so that I can start to kind of add detail to this. I'm just grabbing the verts here as well. I'm just holding V to snap it um, down.
I noticed that those weren't merged then is because when I double clicked on it, it didn't select the whole uh, shell. So I was like, okay, something's wrong here. Yeah, so I've managed to find this reference as well, which is really helping building these bits here. Welcome to the stream, if anybody's just joined. I'm currently building um, that house there. It's cool. It's one of the painted ladies in San Francisco. Um, and I've been currently playing um, Watch Dogs 2 on PC recently. And yeah, really made me want to build something that was in San Francisco. Hey Rich, how's it going? Ah, oh, you're animating. Ah, uh, yeah. What are you animating?
Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Oh, jeez, wow. Right, okay, that's how you spell it. I was just like, couldn't spell porch then at all. <laughs> so, yeah. So, let's have a look at this bit. So, where are we? Yeah, I've been to San Fran. I uh, went a couple of years ago uh, with my stepdad and my mom and my sister. We went on like a family vacation. We did um, a week in San Francisco and then a week in LA. Uh, a couple of nights, uh, one night in um, uh, Monterey. Because uh, what we did was I um, we drove. Um, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, but these these are um, these are uh, old Victorian ones that actually survived the fires. I think the painted the painted ladies on Alamo Square. Uh, people m probably more likely to know it from um, that film, Mrs. Doubtfire. Mm. Yes, I can't believe I just forgot that. Do you know I've I never actually seen it all the way through. Yeah, Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah, I've never seen it all the way through. I've only seen bits. Is that bad? Someone's going to be shouting at me right now. Ah, yeah, again, another one. Only seen bits of it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I don't know. Just gonna get shouted at by chat. I know um, it, is, it is sad um, that he's no longer with us, but yeah. And when they released that um, Jumanji, the newer ones, I was just like, this is not the same without him. Hello, Holly. How's it going? What are you killing? Killing time, killing things, IRL in game. You might need to be a bit more specific. I know this doesn't look anything like the thing at the moment, but it will do on this detail. Ah, uh, you play. Oh, I saw you playing GTA the other day. I was like, okay, interesting. Yeah, Rich, it'd be nice to actually. Ah, yeah, it would be good to uh, finally meet up again and uh, chill out and stuff.
GTA Online. Right, okay. I haven't played it in years, GTA. I say years, probably about a year. Oh, oh sorry. Oh. 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 Have you have you played the single player, Holly? From what I've heard, it's 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 quite crazy. I don't know whether they added more to it, but um, yeah, it was enjoyable. Um, like I was saying earlier, I've, Holly, I just started playing Watch Dogs 2 again on PC, and that's what's inspired me to build this one of the painted ladies uh, from San Francisco because, like, some really nice artwork in that game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've got um, I've got three monitors running at the moment. I've got my top monitor, which has got my Twitch display. Um, yeah. So I've got my like my top monitor, which is uh, my third monitor, which has got all my like Streamlabs OBS open, and it's got all the chat, and it's just so I can see it. Um, and then on my second monitor, I've got um, uh, like these this sort of stuff. So like Google Maps, um, some news articles, which this is a really good one because it's actually got the interior as well. Um, so if I'm feeling really, really motivated, um, uh, there's that and now I've got like, kind of like some more full on shots as well. So yeah, yeah, now I'm modeling, I'm modeling from reference, uh, Rich. <laughs> uh, driving was tragic in that one. Have you got? I don't know. Um, I uh, the first, oh I will say that Holly the first one was absolutely shocking. Like I hated it. It was there was just no the the main character was drab. He was like oh revenge, and it was just a mass murder in simulator. But the second one I like. It's fun. It it's what the first one should have been. If that makes any sense. So it's it's I think it's worth a play if you can pick it up cheap in the sale it's worth it's worth a play. Um, it's a lot more fun and I mean the driving's the driving's better. I will give that. Hi uh, Isaac, is this just Polly Fox Hangout? See if you were if you were a sub you'd get a special uh, emote and I forgot what it, it's the one where Holly you gift 
you, you turned into a GIF and gave it to, yeah, you were like, can we have this on the uh, Discord server? I feel like I've just offended someone, but I don't know why, 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 what? I just said it was a Polyfox Hangout. <laughs> well, Holly's just kicking off for the fun of it. I don't know. Now we've offended Rich. I was a bit confused, but there's no actual gap there. So that actually sits flush like that. Oh, yeah, it makes more sense now. I don't know what emote that is. Oh, by the way, when is um, Locomotion's out soon, right? It's, is it next week on the Switch, or is it this week? Yeah, that's why I asked.
<laughs> I like it. You're all confident, and then it's like, is it this week? Thursday. Well, congrats, guys. I may purchase it. I may purchase it on day one and not wait for it to come in sales like it did on PC. Do apologize about that one. <sighs> What on Switch? Oh, okay. Have you got like a day one day one sale or something? Good luck with the launch on Thursday for anybody in, I think, I think it's only you guys in chat, so I'll be just advertising it to you guys who made the game. <laughs> but yeah, go check it out, it's Locomotion on Switch and Steam. Rich is cruising for a bruising. It will go up on YouTube this well to Tablefoot Games YouTube, which has now 2,560 subscribers. Yeah. And they're not all coming to watch Tommy. Honest. I know. I know. Guess what? I can retire. We make £9.29 on advertisements this month. <laughs> yeah, that's sick, sick YouTube money coming out. <laughs> well, they're saying that. Actually, we have got a nice patron supporters. Um, we've got quite... Um, I think we make about $35 a month off patron. Um, so shout out to the patron supporters. Um, although to be fair, that pays for our software, which is which is good, which really helps. Having fun with what streaming? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 fun. I get to build stuff. Um, I think. Probably my face doesn't show, but I've had quite a busy month moving in to a new place, doing a lot of decorating and stuff like that. So hopefully I can get back to kind of doing this stuff on a more regular basis and also playing some games as well on stream. But it's just been nuts one after another. And then having Zelda as well, little kitten, um, 
she's definitely been testing the last week or so. Um, she's teething at the moment, so she's a bit bitey bitey. And I do feel like I've got more claw marks and bites than I've ever had. <laughs> oh. Okay, to fix that, this issue here where it's um, Z fighting, it's not Z fighting, it's, it's camera clipping. So if you grab the camera, and if I just go to here, there you go, that fixes it. I'm not gonna have a cat cam, but what I might do is, I might just quickly go for a break, run an ad, and um, go grab her. So I will be back in a minute. Okay, so I don't have a cat cam, but I do have Zelda with me. Let me just make this slightly bigger. There you go. She's very sleepy. Um, but yeah. <laughs> she is very sleepy. I know, I know. Ad break rolling in those twit dosh. No, not really. Um, it does stop you guys being forced to watch uh, adverts um, when I do run one every. Uh, I can run in like a 60 second ad break and it stops you from seeing them for like 20 minutes. Um, but yeah. Yes. I See, you guys are seeing her when she's nice. Like this weekend, she she's ripped a bit of the wallpaper off, like a good chunk of it off. Um, I think she's trying to tell us we need to decorate that, that the staircase. She's run me ragged. She's scratched me, she's bit me. We tried to have a bath yesterday and uh, she was... Um... <laughs> she was... Um... Yeah, we're not doing that for a while. And um, now she's just posing. She loves sitting on my keyboard as well. Um, she loves she loves being cradled like this. She like pretends to be a sausage dog. She stretches out. Yeah, we've it's been trying, but I wouldn't trade you. We had to cut paint out of her as well, so we were decorating the um, uh, what do you call it the living room a couple of weeks ago and um, overnight we let her out of the kitchen in the day when we were decorating we, her, we kept her in the kitchen and then during <laughs> during the night we let her out because she was she was crying because she wanted to carry on going back to her room which is the living room and uh, she managed to get herself in the paint and we I had to cut paint out of it just under her chin here uh, which was interesting. I'm not giving my day job up of becoming a pet groomer because she was. I managed to get her when she was um, tired like this. Um, so, yeah. So, this stream has just turned into me stroking the cat. Um, but 
I think you're alright with that, aren't you? Me? You've got your claws out. Please don't claw me. See? Say hello. No. Yeah, yeah. Well, I should rename the stream to Cat Stream with and with maybe some 3D thrown in. Hey, how's that sound? Or have I not got your permission to? So soft, and she's grown so much since we've had her. We've had you now four weeks, and yeah, she's eating us out of. House and home. I'm not a doctor, no. I don't have a PhD, and nor will I ever have one. Um, yeah, no. Might not do a PhD. The only thing is, what she's we bought her a cat tree. She keeps falling out of it because she doesn't realise um, space. Do you? you do it all the time, you fall off the settee, you uh, um, you bounce off things, you run into things, so some ways you are clever and other ways you're dumb. <laughs> yes, yeah, Ian, PhDs are overrated, especially when they try and force you to do it alongside your main job. Mm. Yeah, what, what? <laughs> yes, Holly, cats, cats here, Zelda's here. We are going to have a housewarming, so you guys are all invited. Uh, probably will be probably next year now. <gasps> Stop! She's waking up. <laughs> nope, that's not comfy for you or me. <laughs> nope. Oh. oh no, 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 no. Oh. What's up? It's definitely real life. We've seen a little eyebrows. So, right, her eyebrows. She's got five or six on this side and then one on the other side. Oh, oh no, 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 where are you going, where are you going? That was Zelda. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Holly, I'd like to uh, see you hold her down to try and grab the mouse. She does it anyway um, by uh, just kind of like clawing my mouse, my mouse hand and the thingy. But yeah, she's she's gone. Zelda's gone. She's had enough. Okay, so let me have a look at this. Yeah, yeah, I got um, I got affiliate status back in March. Um, managed to finally get it. Um, just uh, 
Yeah, the next one is partner, and oh my god, that is something like the the streaming for so many days and that sort of stuff is easy. It's just the you have to have a concurrent viewership of seventy five. And for someone small like me, it's, it's not going to happen for a long time. So but yeah, so I managed to get affiliates, so I I, I can now have subs. I can now monetize stuff, I can do the ad breaks as well, which I don't think earns a lot. <laughs> I don't even think it's like a penny. <laughs> but, yeah. I can do a lot more stuff. I won't be retiring anytime soon. You've still unfortunately got me on the Masters, winning the Masters with you. So, strange question, but why you want to do Twitch? I don't. I don't want to do Twitch full time. Um, it's a good platform because um, for me, um, it's good in a sense. These videos then go up onto the Table Flip YouTube channel as like dev, um, as like uh, I forgot what I call them now. But anyway, so they they go up there. And also, using this software that I'm using, Streamlabs OBS, has allowed me to kind of streamline recording tutorials. So what took, used to take me like maybe four hours from like recording, cutting, and putting together an After Effects now takes me about an hour uh, using this kind of like live system. Okay, I have to do it like in one take, but it just speed, it's just speeded up that workflow. Um, I still go into After Effects to clean up the audio for the tutorials, but um, there was a wild cat. Anyway, um, so yeah, so I, I speed up the tutorials that way. Like it's, it's sped up my um, workflow quite quickly doing it this way, more live stream way. Um, but I wouldn't do Twitch full time. No, I don't know. Even if I had quite a few subscribers and that sort of stuff, it's just, no. Um, yeah, definitely for, for, for this sort of stuff, it's really good because I can just say to my students, look, if you need extra resources, just go visit my YouTube, go visit my Twitch streams, come on and ask questions and that sort of stuff. Will they? Nah. There's a lot, I have a lot of students who tune in, but the majority won't think about it. Although what, one of my third years this year was like, oh yeah, I found your Twitch streams and I was just watching you while I was modeling it's like yeah that's what they're there for basically they're there to help students as well Zelda don't know what she's doing Um, so yeah. So at the moment, all I can see is like at the back of my desk, my cable's moving, and it's like little one is kind of jumping around in it. Uh, I'm not quite sure what you mean, Rich.
Um, when I first started teaching, yes. Uh, I haven't. Last one, I think, was Reese. It was a student of mine a couple of years ago. And he was showing me some stuff in Substance Painter, mainly how to mask. Um, instead of creating like a color map, which I was used to in uh, like uh, Dedu, um, he showed me how to create a kind of a masking, uh, how to use the masking system inside a Substance Painter, which was just such a bigger work, uh, time saver when it came to like building a prop with multiple materials like metal wood and that sort of stuff instead of like kind of like baking them out all as like different textures and combining them just mass using masks inside a substance so that was probably the biggest one in recent memory that students kind of showed me and gone ah that's actually a better way of doing it um I think as well, maybe, uh, yeah, I think, at, off the top of my head, I think that's probably thingy. But you do learn from the students. Sometimes they do come up with some interesting ways of solving a problem that you may have had. But I think also as well, it's kind of like you have to learn, you have to kind of teach them that you also need to kind of problem solve as problem solve as well. So like I get a lot of students who kind of look at me funny when I go on Google when they ask me a question about me and they're like, "Don't you, don't you know it?" And it's like, "Well, no, because I've never done that before." Um, like you just when I just crack out, hello, oh, oh. We're having the mad out half hour. She's now got her head like nearly stuck in my. Nope. That's my Dyson fan controller gone. Isn't it? Oh god, wiggly wear. I don't know where she is. Oh, she's in the corner. Okay. Anyway. Uh, let's get this sorted. Yeah, did you see the recent, um, uh, what you call it, the, um, hang on, let me, this doesn't look right at the moment. Did you see the recent blender challenge? With the, I think it was the donuts. Um, that was interesting. So. 
You gonna jump? No. She was a naughty girl last night. She spilled a glass of wine all over the place, including on herself. <sighs> Didn't you? Spilling a whole glass of wine. I don't know. She's now sniffing my hand. You can't see this, but she's sniffing my hand where the mouse is because she's seen my hand move. And she's like, oh, plaything. And now she's behind my laptop. So if I do get disconnected, it's because the cat has taken me down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this up and get it inside of Unreal just so I can see kind of what it looks like. Zelda, 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 will you calm down, please? Okay? Calm down. <laughs> you gonna go? You gonna jump? How about... I know. I know. No? No? <gasps> Say bye to the stream. No. No. She doesn't want me. No, she definitely doesn't want me. <laughs> Go down. <sighs> it's when she climbs all over the keyboard and then like everything just goes to pot.
Okay, I think I'm happy with the block out. Uh, needs to be a lot more detail. Uh, so, yeah, I think I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to grab all of this. Load up Epic. Can I get a back shot of the buildings? Because they're quite they're quite big. These uh, these houses are. That's a shame. Maybe I can find this. I uh, know it isn't rich. It's just something I wanted to do. Maybe I'll, if it turns out alright, I'll put it on the Unreal Store. Um, but no, it's not. It's not for anything really. So there is quite an overhang. Holly, have you been playing this? Ooblets. See how long this update will take. Do you know I'm just going to launch a new uh, 4.23? It's gone quiet. I don't know where she is.
Probably, yeah. That's because uh, Unreal's kicked in. Um, yeah, that is probably the um, fan, yeah. So, yeah, no, but it keeps it cool. It doesn't burn you or like singe you or anything like that. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna export it as a whole. So I don't want any of these ticked, because that's... Mm. Ah, that's what I forgot to do. Got to combine the mesh. Yeah, yeah. No. You can see I'm not even following my tutorial here of uh, making sure you s put it to the centre here like this. Try that again, shall we? It's better. Obviously, <laughs> I'm going to fall through. Um, well, I think the scales. I think the scales nearly there. You know. I think now, if I build it in sections with the collisions and stuff like that, uh, maybe actually we can uh, do it. So let's before I finish this off, maybe let's let's do the collisions on this. So. It does. It really does. I mean, Unity's, I like Unity as well. Um, you just can't be really fussy nowadays. Both engines do things better than the other. Both engines can be really infuriating sometimes because of how they do the things, so yeah. Uh, ground. Well, Unreal, Unreal is easy. There's a lot of tutorials out there on how to kind of get like really good lighting and really good thingy and most of the principles are the same, you just have to find out where the hotkeys are. So. So what I'm doing here is I'm doing a collision. So uh, Um, yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing what, how it handles it. Um, like at the moment, I'm not quite sure uh, if it's going to handle it 
like he did in the demo. I, I don't know. I mean, I still think we shouldn't be getting too excited. We're still going to need to optimize. Because you can imagine like a whole game like taking up freaking, I don't know, 300 gig. I mean, Call of Duty is getting that way at the moment anyway. But you kind of know what I mean. It's like we're still going to have to optimize. Yeah, not lazy modelers, just spoilt, I think, is the better word to say. Um, because they're going to not need as much um, I wouldn't say lazy. It's going to let us push the detail though, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Privileged, yeah. <laughs> you want to go that way. It'll be interesting. But we won't know until we get our hands on it. And I don't know when that is. Um, so, yeah. I mean, Unreal 4's made such leaps and bounds from UDK. So, I am looking forward to what, what they're, what they're going to offer. Um, but yeah. Okay, in theory... Haha. Uh -huh. Obviously I don't have collision on these yet, but Okay, I didn't mean to do that. You didn't see that. But as you can see there, like collision inside of Unreal is so easy to make. Um it didn't take me that long to do that. And I've now I can test the stairs and the stairs are perfect, like There's no collision issue, and down here, I can step up onto that quite easily. I go down here, and it's like, yeah, that's right. Obviously, free run a little bit there. But yeah, I can test the collision on stuff that I needed to, so like, I keep doing that. I could just put um, a blocking volume as well in there to stop that from happening while I'm testing. Uh, okay, we've got an issue there. I'm guessing that's because I deleted the face within it, but that's fine. I know, know what that issue is. Um, and yeah, from from this stage, I'll probably start to um, I'll start to add detail to it. I'll start to I'm probably going to start from the ground upwards. Um, start to kind of properly model all this detail that you can see in this image here. So we're looking at down here first, this wood panelling, the garage door, this, all this sort of stuff. There's a little uh, door as well here, getting an access tunnel into the basement. Um, and there's also, yeah, so I'll start from the ground up, work my way up. Um, and yeah, this is going to be fun. All this intricate detail. Hmm. Oh, I think that's a holly brush. Might have to make that a substance designer. Um, but yeah, cool. Well, thank you for tuning in today. Um, and thank you for asking questions and chatting and anything. Um, do check out 
um, Tabletop Games YouTube channel. This is where we upload these sort of videos. We also have tutorials on there. Tommy's got a whole range of AI tutorials on there. I've got a range of Maya, Substance and Unreal tutorials. Currently doing a series on Unreal Engine 4. So we've already had the um, introduction, uh, import, export, LODs, line maps and um, collision. And then next week is materials and then hopefully the week after is lighting. So yeah, and hopefully I'll have a few more bits of this done as well. So uh, thank you for watching the stream and um, yeah. Also thank you to our patrons as well. Yeah, I'm off. So I'll see you all in the next stream.